here with my May favorites, and I got a lot of great feedback on my last April favorites. You know, you guys really enjoyed it, and I enjoyed video it, taping it for you guys, whatever. So, yes, I am back with another favorites for this month that just passed, like that. Let's just ju jump straight in because I don't have much to say, and I have a lot of products to show since I have been playing with lots of products. So, first thing as first is the Inglot Gel Liner in number 77. Holy <sighs> smokes. Let me just tell you, this is the blackest liner I have ever used. Ever. It beats the Maybelline Black is Black Gel Liner. Ugh, it is perfection. It is so creamy. Once it's on, it's not moving nowhere. It's it's on. It's like freaking glue. Like, it's insane. It's, ugh, I don't have better things to say about this than two thumbs up. Inglot, you did an amazing job with this. And they do have other shades as well, not just black. And these run for $12 on the site Beautylish, which is where I purchased mine from. So, that is the Inglot gel liner in a number 70. Another favorite of mine this month are the Revlon Color Burst Matte Bombs. And the colors that I have here are Unapologetic, una yeah, Unapologetic and Mischievous. These are so beautiful, you guys. God, so gorgeous. And this one is more of a pinky peach with, yes, with the little peach nudie undertones. And oh, so just vibrant, so pigmented. Revlon is doing a job with this. The packaging is so sleek. I think it's, you know, it's just, you can just throw this in your bag and bada boom, you are good to go. The other color that I have here is Mischievous. And this is very nudie, um, peach, like undertones, pink. Can you guys tell I've been into my peaches? And yes, these are so pigmented, you guys. They're gorgeous. So, once again, the Revlon Matte Color Burst things. And I bought these at Rite Aid. I know, I know Walmart has these as well, you know, your local drugstore. But I got these at Rite Aid. It was buy one, get one half off on the Revlon products. So, I got one for, what, seven bucks around there. And the other one was half off. So, great steal. So, make sure, if you guys want to get your hands on this, go to Rite Aid. Make sure... They got that deal going on. Next favorite of mine is the Urban Decay Bondage Weightless Makeup Adhesive. And it just comes into like this grungy kind of packaging. It's so sleek, so gorgeous with that purple lettering. Ugh, they couldn't have made it any more kind of like ugh, ferocious, right? <laughs> and um, I went into Old Town looking for the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And they had told me that this one had just came out, so I was like, hey, why not? Worth a try, right? And yes, it is honestly a really a great adhesive for pigments and um, just any loose powders for your eyelids. It's so, like it says, weightless. Um, it comes off clear. You, It's not sticky, and it's really easy to remove. Um, I just use a makeup wipe, you know. And bada boom, it is a go. I paid fourteen dollars for it, so honestly, it is you know it's not it's not too on the pricey side. And yes, it just it, and it also comes with this kind of like feathery, like um, synthetic bristles. So once again, that was the Urban Decay Bondage Weightless Makeup Adhesive. Let's talk about this bad boy, the Argonics by Numi Argan Oil. Oh, Lord Jesus brought this down to me because he knows this girl needs some hydrating in her hair. <laughs> oh my God, this is the best oil I have ever used on my hair. It is so awesome. It's to freaking die for. So once again, this is the Argonics and it's created by Numi. And um, yes, so it's just pretty much, let me read you the description. An advanced, a non-greasy formula made with argan oil and a vitamin E that instantly absorbs to reduce a drying time while deeply hydrating. It enhances styling and is guaranteed to restore softness and shine. Reduces fading in on color-treated hair while repairing split ends and frizz, leaving hair soft, silky, and with a brilliant shine. Yes, 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 and yes! This is exactly, the description names it all. 
honestly, I get out the shower, I rub it into my hair, and it does not leave my hair looking greasy or anything. And plus, I do have very dry, dry hair. So for you dry girls out there, get your hands on this argan oil. You won't regret it. And honestly, you get so much. Four ounces. Like, what am I going to be doing with this? Like, come on. I've used it so many times this past month, and it's only it's right there. I mean, come on. Come on, this is gonna last me a freaking bajillion years. So let me check you. Let me check the pricing for this little guy. Okay, so the art. Whoo, that is expensive. So the Argonics Argan Oil is fifty nine dollars. It's a little pricey. So yeah, I mean, I know Josie Maron also has a really good Argan Oil at the at Sephora. I have not yet to try that one, but it will be the next one I would love to try. So this is just what I got, and yeah, it's what I'm working with. Oldie but a goodie. It's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, and this is in, yes, soft and gentle. Totally oldie, right? But I have been seeing myself gravitating towards this in the past month. I've been loving that glow, that, ugh, for this warm weather I don't know why I've never been into dewy glowy skin until just recently if you you know I kind of have a little bit oily skin it's kind of like com normal to combination so I've always been a matte kind of girl you know I've been I like to stay away from glowing skin or you know but I don't know why this past month I've just been obsessed with my skin glowing and looking all oily so Yes, so this is a MAC Vanilla Skin Fin Soft and Gentle. It runs for $32, so it's a little pricey, but yet I have had this for so long, and you know, it comes, it's like a little bump right here, and I mean, come on. Yeah, I've had it for over, over a year. Another one of my favorites of this month is the, wrong side, Batiste Dry Shampoo, and this is in the dark, deep brown, dark and deep brown, and Oh my god, this is a lifesaver. If you are like me and you do not like to wash your hair every day, you know, obviously I do have dry hair, I just mentioned, but, you know, towards that third day hair, my hair tends to get really greasy towards the tips, but not, you know, obviously, ugh, like drenched like a dang chicken. No, it just gets a little greasy and I just shake this up, like pull up my crown and just spray it and what I love about this is that it does not leave any white residue or white cast on your crown it does come out dark brown for you dark haired girls this would be perfection pricing for this bad boy is $7.99 yes it's $7.99 and I got this from Ulta but I think I have also seen it at a drugstore I just cannot remember where but Ulta for sure carries this so Next favorite for this month of May that I've been seeing myself gravitating towards a lot and just been placing it a lot on my skin is my Milani. These are the this is the baked blush and this one's in Rose de Oro. It is so gorgeous. Oh, especially I love to use this on my darker skin clients or like myself. I am wearing this right now and it just gives you such a beautiful like glow from within kind of thing, you know? It does have kind of like goldish specks inside. So, yes, it does give you like a beautiful glow. It is so pigmented. You can really see the peach out of it when placed on the skin. And it just makes you look so flawless. So if you are a little darker toned, make sure you grab this. It is from the drugstore. For this bad boy is um $7.99. And they do have a different shades. I do have a few different shades as well, but this is just the one I have been loving. So once again, that is Milani's Rose de Oro Baked Blush number 02. So this is an oldie, I know, but I always tend to have bought the Duo Lash Adhesive in the clear one, which the white one that comes off white and dries off clear, whatevs. But I just recently got my hands on the Duo Eyelash Adhesive in the Dark Toned, which is that pink packaging whatever and oh my god it is totally worth it you know I just see myself using this way much more than I have from the white clear whatever it is it's so much better you know I see myself not having to go over my eyeliner as much as I would with the white 
toned adhesive. That makes sense. The dark tone duo adhesive is five bucks. So for five bucks, you can get yourself. Like, my next favorite is the Body Shop Slip Butter, and this is the mango scent. Oh my lord. Oh, okay. Before I start ranting about how great it smells, let me just tell you guys the quality of it. Oh, Lord, this is phenom. It is so amazing, you guys. If you guys are looking for a great lip moisturizer, go to your local body shop. I believe Ulta also sells this brand, but since I do have a body shop nearby, this is where I get all my products. But, <laughs> yes, it is so creamy. It's so velvety, kind of buttery filling oh it is and on top of that it smells delicious you guys everything from the body shop, body shop is also vegetarian i believe she said so made with a very vegetarian products and mm, obviously it won't harm animals things like that so yes this one's the mango one and luckily for me they were having a sale so i got three for seven dollars but i know they do sell each one for six dollars so Yes, this one's the mango one. I just want you guys to smell it. Ugh. Oh my god. Okay. Let's move on to my life. So, I have three more products to talk about. Our Makeup Geek products. And, uh, this is my first time purchasing Makeup Geek products. I have used a pigment before, but this is my first time using their eye sh her eyeshadows. And, oh my god, her eyeshadows are phenomenal. They are like extraordinary so blendable um i have mine in c palettes all right so the ones down here are makeup geek and these top ones i have are mac and um they look exactly the same right no difference here they are so ex i cannot say enough good things about this product they blend out so easily they're so pigmented so creamy they are perfection. She did an amazing job with these shadows. And they sell for $6 a pot if you get them uh, depotted like this. They are $6. And yes, so it's half the, half the price of MAC shadows. So honestly, they are 10 thumbs up. They are phenomenal. If you do not have your, like, if you do not own Makeup Geek shadows, you need to get your hands on it favorite for this month uh, that I was super excited about is my Anastasia contour kit oh my lord I have not used any highlighting any contouring other than whatever is in this kit this is all you need in your life <laughs> what I love about it is that they are also refillable pans so you can easily pop these out if one is gone toss it out and replace it this one was $40 and I do not think it's in stock right now but I believe she says it will be back in stock sometime in June or July. Sometime this month or next. <laughs> Anyways, back to the product. It has three bronzers for your different, fitting different skin tones. And yes, it has more like of a cool tone bronzer and two very warm toned bronzers. And um, yes, these are so blendable. Just anything you're looking for in a bronzer. Also, it has two highlighting powders to set your concealer. And one highlighting powder and glow and illuminize your skin. So once again, that is the Anastasia Contour Kit. And this was $40. Which is honestly not bad since this is all you're going to need. Opposed to a bronzer that's what, 30 bucks. Might as well get a full kit. Essie Nail Polish, which I'm not wearing on my nails. But I have been seeing myself that I've been using this at least 3 or 4 times this past month. And this is in the color, Where's My Chauffeur? Uh, where's My Chauffeur? And these run for $8.50. And yes, which is a very teal, summery blue. Kind of like that um, Tiffany blue color, but a little bit more with aqua undertones. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do my nails that color. So, yes, once again, that is the Essie Where's My Chauffeur. Last favorite for this month, this time for show. It is actually what's on my head, which is my flower halo he headband, crown, whatever you want to call it. So, I did make these myself, and um, I went to Michael's. Well, let me tell you a little story real quick. 
I went to Claire's and I saw their flower headbands and they were what eight dollars and fifty cents for one and I was like whoa girl <laughs> totally easy to make and yes definitely very easy to make it's almost foolproof like you can make this in an instant if you want to see a DIY on this go ahead and give this video a thumbs up let me know and I would be more than happy to recreate these headbands for you I spent nine nine dollars and I did five of them so I got this pretty little sunflower one I made this pink one right I made this pink one right here this hot pink one very simple yet cute this orange with sunflowers which is also really cute and one of my favorites is this purple one so yes five bucks I mean five of them and I paid nine bucks and I got all the supplies at Michael's and once again if you guys want to see on um, a tutorial on how to make this I would be more than happy to do that for you right, you guys so that wraps up my main favorites uh, let, leave a comment down below letting me know what your guys's favorites are for the month I'd love to try out the products that you guys are recommending. I mean, I love to try out new stuff. That's what we're here for, to just recommend to one another. And yes, so I'll see you guys in my next video, which it might be this look, might not. Don't you know. <laughs> All right, talk to you guys soon. Mwah!